Hi Reader Pops, welcome back. Today's another ultimate book video. This is a little series I've been doing where I go to the bookstore to do some book shopping. I do a little haul and then we're gonna construct our April TBR. I might do some book journaling, some reading, just four videos in one basically. And I'm actually going to Japan in a week and I'm gonna have some long plane rides. We've got a 14 hour one there and back as well as like a two or three hour one. So I'm gonna be kind of shopping for books that I'm gonna be reading there and on the planes. And I truly don't know what I want. I don't think I've read a romance book in so long. So I'm gonna be shopping for that. I've been reading some Stephen King for a video. So I might just pick up another one. I wanna get the sequel to the third book in the Infernal Devices series. And then the second book in the Mistborn series. Definitely need those. And then I'm currently reading 1120 263 by Stephen King and it's 850 pages. You'll see this for our main channel video. Let's go to the bookstore. I'm gonna get a coffee. I'm very excited. I love going to the bookstore knowing I need to buy books for the flight and everything, but having no idea what I'm gonna choose. So whatever I see there is when I'll end up picking up. I'm stepping away. got a lot of books. And if you notice my outfit while book shopping, this little long sleeve is my new favorite thing ever. It's from Free People Movement, but I got it off of ThreadUp, who is sponsoring this video. So thank you, ThreadUp. Here's the cute box that they come in. But if you guys don't know what ThreadUp is, they are an online thrift store. And I find the best stuff by typing in specific things. So I'll type in Free People Movement, where I found this top, which was only $12.99. I also got this jacket, which is Free People Movement. And since it is Earth Month, there's a fun little stat that every time I wear something secondhand, I save enough water to make 72 matcha lattes. No, 74 matcha lattes. And then I really wanted linen pants, so I typed in white linen pants. And I am actually obsessed with these. They're from Athleta of all places, which I would have never thought to look there. But these are perfect. They're low rise and then they cinch at the bottom. It's gonna be perfect for summer and spring. And then I looked up Lululemon, of course, because I want some new athletic wear. And I got these super cute red flare leggings for $21.99. An estimated retail is $100. And then I also got this black Lululemon tank top. You guys can use my code HaleyFam and get 35% off, which is even more than they usually do. And that is an actually ridiculous discount. Like think about the free people and Lululemon you could get. Already discounted, but then with the code, it'd be insane. So I'll leave the link in the description. The lighting in here is so cute right now. Look at this Barnes and Noble bag. They ran out of bags, but they had clear ones, which I've never seen before. And all the books didn't fit. One of them did not, which is the third book in the Infernal Devices series, Clockwork Princess, which this one has like a pink hue to it, which I really like, so. And it's really thick. So I don't know how long it's gonna take me to get to this one, cause I'm not that excited to finish the series, to be honest, considering how the last book went, but. Oh, also I did get a coffee and they discontinued the turkey chipotle sandwich there, which actually is some of the worst news that I've heard in relation to food because that was like probably one of my top meals. One of my top meals, like actually from Barnes and Noble. So that sucks. Anyways, right, the books I got, I need to pop my toe. Okay, I went a little bit feral in there because I feel like I've been reading so out of my comfort zone of genres that I don't actually have a good pool on my shelves to choose from when I'm in the mood to read from like a random genre, like general fiction, science fiction, thrillers, stuff like that. I've read them all that are on my shelves. I mean, almost all of them. So I kind of bought a lot of books, but I also just do not want to be bored on these plane rides. So. Let's go through them. First of all, I was not expecting to see this there, but it was on one of the tables at the front. And that is My Brilliant Friend by Elena Ferrante. I don't really like this cover at all, but I felt it and I was like, wait, I love this cover because, okay, do you see? I've never seen a cover like this. I like how the edge, it folds around and it feels like a smooth lamentation or something. I don't know, it just feels like it's encased. Something about it is just very satisfying to me. And this book was recommended to me by Olive Blake in my Authors Recommend Me Books videos, but I didn't buy this one because I didn't really understand what it was about. I don't know, I just had never seen it. But I got a ton of comments saying that you guys love this book and the Goodreads rates this book super highly as well. And then also on the back, the reviews are just so insane. Evocation. The truest evocation of a complex and lifelong friendship, an intense forensic exploration of the friendship between Lilla and the story's narrator, Elena. Compelling, visceral, 
and immediate. Yeah, very intense reviews on the back, and most of them saying that this is a story about friendship, which I feel like I've just been wanting to kind of read about that topic, so this will be very fun. And this was translated from Italian, which is really cool. I got the second book in the Mistborn series. It's called The Well of Ascension. Does this have a different cover? Bruh. See, that bothers me. The textures of these book covers are different. This one's like a matte, smooth one, and this one's shinier. This one seems... Oh, the pages are different. Dang, that bothers me. <laughs> it's fine. I'll still read it. Not the same size. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Moving on. I wanted to get a good old thriller, just in case I got in the mood for one. I follow Lauren's Reading Corner on Instagram, and she read this one and gave it five stars, and then read another book by this author and gave it five stars, so I was very intrigued. It's called A Flicker in the Dark by Stacey Willingham. I read the back. Six teenage girls go missing, and then her dad confessed to the crime. 20 years later, kids start going missing again and maybe Chloe will unmask the killer. That's a little bit of the premise that I read on the back. I don't know. Okay, then I got Red Rising by Pierce Brown. I've really been paying attention to like the quality of books lately and this is just the nicest floppiest paperback ever. So that definitely is part of the reason that I bought this, but I was watching Olivia Reads a Latte and she absolutely loves this book. I'm pretty sure it's, oh, it's sci-fi. So I would love to dip my toes into the sci-fi genre and this one is very well loved. I've seen some comments telling me to read it. Oh, reminiscent of the Hunger Games and Game of Thrones. So I'm very excited to read this one. Last book. I've wanted to read this for a long time, but it was in hardcover and it was very intimidating looking, but I saw it in paperback today and that is Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir. If you've ever seen the movie, The Martian, he wrote that book and he also wrote this one. This one has definitely won awards. I know that. And yeah, this small little paperback just made it seem a lot less intimidating. Look at that font. That's cool. So maybe I will try this one soon. We have some sci-fi. Those are the books that I got. Two sci-fi, one thriller, one YA fantasy. Historical fiction, I think. YA historical fantasy, so. New year, new me. I can't wait to try some of these. I mean, would you just look at this? This is a very different stack of books from when I was reading in 2021. Both are good. This is just so fun to explore new. Everything is new to me, which is why it's fun. I think I'm gonna get my reading journal out and start concocting an April TBR and also kind of what I read in March because I have not updated this reading journal for most of the year and it makes me a little bit sad, so. on the reading journal a little bit. I'm actually so excited to be like getting back into it because I've really been slacking and I've never really officially done a tour. So I'm gonna give you guys a tour. It's weird, I feel like I have, but I don't think I have. Have I? There's page one. This is from last year. These were my top 10 books of 2022 before the year was over, but August TBR. This is when I was putting a lot of effort in, as you can see. In August, I read like 21 books, so we have that. It had to extend to the next page and then I also just like planned videos on this side. I did a little spread for Shatter Me because that's how invested I was in the series and I thought, that was really cute. And then we have my YA fantasy series TBR. This is very heavily inspired by Rachel Catherine because I liked the way that she set it up so that you could cross it out and it's really satisfying. As you can see, I have not read like any of them. And then I did an end of year TBR, which I'm still kind of using because it's very satisfying to fill this in whenever I read the book. This was a series tracker I did to motivate me to read series and you know, fill in the boxes. We have a September TBR and I tried to do the thing where I like track how many pages I read a day and then I, just forgot to do that at the end of the month. We have a book haul page that I could log my books, kind of like a library. My September reads, my physical TBR, which as you can see, I was actually really getting through. My October TBR and October reads. And then we go straight into 2023. So as you can see, automatically 2023, I started off with much less effort. This was like my video planning schedule. I love doing those. We have a yearly TBR, which I copied from Katie is reading. This is like her format. This is also her format of a bookshelf of like the whole year that you fill in, which is so cute. This is an exact replica. So you should watch her reading vlog video. And then I logged the books I read in January. I have to fill in February's. This got all crumpled in my backpack, but this is what you guys saw me working on. These are the books that I read in March. And then here's my April TBR. And honestly, everything on my April TBR are the books that I just hauled. So there's not much of a difference there. But yeah, that is my reading journal. So I finally have given you a tour of this one. And I hope to actually get back into the era where I fill things out because I feel like there definitely is a correlation with filling this out and how much I love reading. I hope you guys enjoyed the book haul, my April TBR basically, and also a reading journal tour. Let me know what else you guys want me to show that I have not shown yet. But other than that, don't forget to use the link and my code in the description for ThreadUp, code HaleyFam for 35% off and I will see you guys somewhere else on the internet. Bye.